All right. Hey, guys, we're here for a new episode of Five for Talking. I almost said the other show. Uh, I'm here with Caps, the captain of the show, Muscles Marinero, the sauce boss. And uh, today we're going to be talking. Well, we're not even going to be I talking. Like you guys are going to make a T-shirt out of that. Eh? Listen, you know what? I, I can't afford to give you the proceeds, all right? Uh, we're, we're tier listing the, all the teams that made the playoffs. Unfortunately, I had no time to make my own tier list, and I can't find any tier lists that had uh, just the playoff team. So we're just going to go through this and we'll leave everybody else behind. Uh, if you want, I'll put all the teams that didn't make it to the playoffs in Nope. Uh, so we're just ranking all the 16 teams that made it to the playoffs on who has the best shot. And we only have four categories here. It's cup worthy, uh, which we're only putting one team from each conference in uh, legit shot teams, outside shot teams, and the ones that we believe have no chance. So we'll just get right into this with Colorado. Upworthy. Yes, I agree. Uh, from from the Western Conference, that's my pick as well. Um, so they're kind of all in their matchups. Hopefully, I I did that right. You know. Uh, but okay, the Nashville Predators. I, I'm gonna say outside shot. I mean, you're always gonna have a chance, and they're playing pretty well. Uh, I mean, in comparison to everybody else on this thing, I would not say that they don't have a shot. I would say an outside shot. Uh, I don't know how you feel about that. I'm going to agree with you. Uh, they're definitely not a nope. Their team's a lot better than a nope. Yep. Uh, I know they just came in at the eighth place spot, but they're better than a nope. Yep. Um, Minnesota. Uh, I'm going to say they have a legit shot. Legit shot. And, and, and yes, they lost last night. But the fact of the matter is it's just one game. And yeah. it's a seven-game series. Uh, best out of four. Best out of seven. What the hell am I talking about? Um, and uh, I, I think they got a legit shot. Uh, the fact, though, that I think on top of it is the fact that everybody was so shocked that they lost 4 yeah. nothing. Um, to me, means that they are a team that should have a legit shot. Um, St. Louis. Um, I want to say they have a legit shot, but at the same time, I, I'm not for sure. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say outside shot. I mean... Um... They're, the be- they're a better team than Nashville, though. I would, yeah, I would put them in the same boat as Nashville, pretty much. I mean, they got an outside shot. Uh, necessarily don't, uh, I don't think they don't have a shot, uh, but they have an outside shot. Yeah, I think that's that's completely fair. Because St. Louis is not that far off from, like, a Minnesota, but I feel like the defensive abilities of Minnesota, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We, I think we that's got fair. the X factor. We got the X factor in Mark Andre Fleury, so he's he's always well, been able. And to Talbot perform. had an amazing season as well. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, Calgary. I'm gonna say has a more legit shot than Minnesota. I, I believe so too. Um. It, it definitely is gonna be interesting to see how they come out of this round. Um. If they overpower Dallas, uh. You know, they're, they're, they are on the brink of cup-worthy, I would have to say, because... I would say um, they're the next team for me in the West. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know how the knockout stage is going to work itself out. Um, I don't know what the next matchups are going to be like. I don't know. It's I weird. believe the Calgary series faces the Edmonton series. Okay. All right. I'll just leave it at that. I, I, I'm... I don't know how it's going to work, but I, I I foresee it to be a Calgary versus Colorado. I also said um, the same thing. Yeah. Um. All right, Dallas. I'm gonna say nope. Honestly, I want to say they're in an outside shot, but I don't really care enough, and I will take that. <clears throat> I, I think you know, their team on paper is really good. I think so too. Um. But the fact of the matter is, they're going up Calgary, and I don't really see Calgary, um, letting Dallas beat them sorry i just don't uh, see i'll it. take it i mean i'll take it i mean and it's fair it's actually fair that you say that because i know we have nashville in the outside shot even though they're facing colorado but yeah but colorado think, has been upset of like exactly. the leaf style every I year think based on what we're seeing right now i think that nashville has a better shot going into the next round than dallas does i agree ups- with you for as an upset <clears throat> uh do you want to take it for uh, the, the Oilers? Oh, man. I, I'm torn with the Oilers. I, I really do enjoy watching them play, and I think they're a really great team. 
And we all know that the X factor is going to be the goalie uh, situation in uh, Edmonton um, based on how that team is built. Because uh, to be honest with you, that, that defensive core, I don't know, it's just up and down. You want my hot take? They've been on a pretty good run as of late. And I think, um, I think they're at the tail end. I think tail end of legit shot or really like outside shot top. Okay, so this is my thing. And I'll tell you from what I saw last night. McDavid and I believe both him and Drysaddle had a goal and an assist. Mm-hmm. And even with all the defensive pressure that LA put on them, they still played really well. The problem <laughs> is nobody else played well and nobody else is going to play well in that system. Uh, LA legitimately put the Montreal on, on them, what the, what the Canadians did to the Leafs last year. They're playing like the New Jersey Devils of old. And I think if I'm saying it, I say the Oilers are here. I don't even think the Oilers are better than the Blues. Um. You can I, argue me I, above that if you want. No, 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 no. I, I agree with you. Um, I, I they they were playing well. I think both it was up both it was up in the air. Both teams uh, had a legit shot of winning that game. Uh, I will say, just like going back to my first point, um, that you know Mike Smith committed a very very huge error, which caused um, them the game. So. Yeah, I mean, if you can uh, tighten up uh, what he did in uh, game one, uh, they have a legit shot coming out of that round. You know uh, what? You can go for it. I think I think that's good. And and I'm going to go with L.A. I think I'm just going to put them somewhere, and then I'm going to talk. I think they're here. Why? Because I think that they have a better shot of getting past this round than the, than the Predators do. Do they really have a shot at a cup? Probably not, but are they – do they have more of a shot than Dallas does? I think so, because LA's play style is... Look, the Canadians made it all the way to the finals last year, and they're playing that type of game. And they have... a am not going to say on the level of Carey Price, but Jonathan Quick is a legendary goalie. And if he feels like he's going to turn it on... <clears throat> Which he did last yeah, game. Yeah, he looked amazing. But, um, but, you know, he's pretty injury-prone if I remember correctly and let's just see how long he can keep that up for hey that's fair are you are you opposed to this spot i'm cool with it for now if okay. anything i'll come up with something later okay on. um okay so with florida <clears throat> i think they are my choice for the cup worthy team in the east um i know that might be crazy but I just feel like coming off the season, no matter what happens tonight, their team is just so well built. They are. Um, I, I just, it's the playoff experience factor that, that just, um, that, um, you know, it's just okay. in the back of my mind. Where do you see and, it? And I will go, I will, I, I will personally go with whatever you choose. Honestly. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm okay with this for now, but I think we might. I think we might. We might be able to talk each other into something else coming up. Um, yep. And I'm, I don't mean specifically that, but okay. So next we have Washington. Okay. Um, I know you put Florida as cup worthy, but um, I really do think. It, it, it's going to be, it's contradictory. It, it, I, can see I the think Washington here, is great. But Washington, I think, has a legit shot and a legit shot of upsetting Florida if Florida isn't the team. That, yes. Uh, okay. They, so, yeah. Pretty we much might be okay. Over. So, for now, for now, let's just go like this. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> but I think you make a really good point because I really like the Capitals and the way they're built. Um, they have some goaltending flaws, but if they beat the floor, the Florida Panthers, which they can do, they are capable of doing that. I think they can, if they're playing that well, they'll easily beat the Leafs or Tampa Bay. I'm just going to put that out there. If they're playing good enough to take down Florida, they could easily have a shot at beating the Leafs or the Lightning. The East is very hard to predict because there's yes. just so many good teams. Um so I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so you know what? We're we're gonna skip these. <laughs> we're 
we're going to skip this all the way till the end. So um, I think Car- Carolina is the high is the is equal to Calgary, especially if they get Anderson back because Boston played their little hearts out yesterday and got absolutely destroyed by Carolina. I know, but um, I will put Carolina behind Calgary because yeah, okay, same squad. I- the only reason why is because Florida has a better shot of making it to uh, the finals than Carolina does. And Calgary has a better shot of making it to the finals than Carolina does. If that okay. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, but in on that note, I'm gonna say Boston Bruins are no. Ooh. I, I, I I'm gonna say outside shot. I will say outside. Okay. Shot. How deep in here? Um, I'm, I'm gonna say in between LA and St. Louis. I think that's okay. I'm not gonna argue that. That's fine. Um, I like, I, like I said, I watched the highlights for all the games, obviously, but I, I, they replayed the third. I don't know if it was just the third, but I caught the third period of a replay of the Boston game. And I caught the third period of a replay of the Edmonton game. And, uh, Boston was really trying and they were getting absolutely annihilated. Yeah. In the game. I, I, I know, man. I really, I, I, I totally hear what you're saying. Olmark is not a starting but- goalie. Like, dude like you never it's just you ah, it's fine i'll you accept know. it because they do have pasternak and you know and friends um okay I just notice that uh, boston is right underneath carolina yeah it makes sense <laughs> i think the rangers i i, a, I, I think know. they have a better shot than minnesota does um i could see your point it, this is a hard one. Um, I'm. If you're gonna put the Rangers up there, then the Pittsburgh Penguins are probably okay. So then I I can't do that then because in in my opinion I don't think th- I think the the Pittsburgh Penguins are like somewhere at the end of an outside shot. Okay, um, I think the Rangers are. Um, I think the Rangers are in between Minnesota and Washington, and I think the Pittsburgh Penguins come right after the Edmonton Oilers or uh, before the Oilers. Here or here? There. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't necessarily agree, but at the same time, I'm not – I don't – It's. it doesn't bother me enough to argue that down because it, it is the Pittsburgh Penguins, and you can never count out Sidney Crosby, right? I, I want to make an, a – Okay, you know, we'll wait till the end before we rearrange. Yeah, that. no, absolutely. And let's not forget about Evgeny Malkin. I mean, he's, you know, he, he, it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's too early to make this call, I think. But I do think that the Leafs are somewhere around Calgary. And I, I've never had this feeling before. You know me. I hate when you guys talk about how the Leafs are going to make it somewhere. But I truly see it this year. I, I'm, I, I refused to comment last year on on them uh so um i'm going to change it up a little bit and i am going to put them uh right beside calgary and i'm okay where or before or after i don't it doesn't matter to me um but uh you want to know something i think Given the route that they have, Calgary has a better shot at at getting to the finals. Make it to the finals than Toronto does, yeah. Just because of the teams that they have to play. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so Tampa Bay, you know what? I don't think I didn't think I would say this, especially the way they played the last couple of games, but once again, that their loss yesterday was nothing to do with Tampa Bay playing bad. The Leafs were just the better team. Tampa Bay didn't have a bad game. They played their best hockey and still got destroyed. Yeah, it's just, it's really hard for for us to base something off of one game. Yes, and um, I, I agree. That's where I'm, I, I have to agree with you. Yeah, this is this is tough. And you can never I, count out uh, Tampa Bay. You, you can't count out Vasilevsky because if you run into playoff Vasilevsky, um, you know, things can turn on a dime. 
Um, you didn't see that last night, but, um, you know, there's always that um, possibility that you may see that going forward. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, solely based on the fact that Florida or Tampa have a legit shot at making the finals, they, they have to go right beside Florida. But I think, I think the Leafs have a better shot than Tampa Bay does. I know. But the only reason why I'm putting Tampa um, above the Leafs is based on the fact that they had two Stanley Cup wins in the last couple of years. That's, that's it. Yeah. And, and it, I, I, I see what you're saying. Like, it, 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 doesn't, it really doesn't make sense to have a Leafs that far up and the Tampa Bay Lightning that, that high up. But, dude, it, it, this is a tough one. The East is okay. easily so difficult to play. I'll give you this. I will give you this. Because once again, I think the Leafs argument works against Tampa Bay as well. I think Calgary, Calgary has a better shot than Tampa Bay does. Okay. And by this logic, we have to put Florida here, basically. Because they're not, I'm not going to leave them in legit shot, right? Um Florida might lose, but I'm just saying from what we've seen in the season, you made some really good points about it. But I just think that when you look at their team and what they've done this season, that's a, a Stanley Cup worthy team. If you would have asked us this question back at the end of no. November, beginning of December, it would have been a switch between hey, you can go and back and look at our other tier lists. If yeah, you it was it's there. And Colorado has stayed there this whole time I, I, for two years because, because they are legitimately that good. Unfortunately, they run into a team in the, in the playoffs where they just absolutely get smacked. And, and I'm pretty sure, you know, it's going to be growing pains. They're going to have to, you know, um, take their experience and move forward and grow just like the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, so, you know, I mean, I, I'm still going to stick to Colorado, I'll stick to Colorado because I, I still uh, do think that they have a legit shot at winning the whole thing okay so i think i think there's a move we have to make and and I, i'm gonna before i say that i'm gonna be, agree with you i think colorado belongs there and you could see our progression of of our feelings towards the nhl just that's why we did the tier list three times that's why we're going to continue to keep doing that at the beginning of the year after the all-star break and at the start of the playoffs we're going to do this every year from now on and you can see the progression of like how we felt teams should land in in the by rankings. And I think right now, I'm going to be honest with you, I think Nashville has no shot. I, I just thought about it this whole time, and Colorado's too good, and I don't think Nashville's going to upset them. I think should they get upset, it will be in the next round to Minnesota or St. Louis. Um, I really don't think I don't even know if Nashville wins a game. Yeah, um, hmm. they're playing tonight, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll um, wow, the Capitals beat the Panthers. Wow, oh, you heard it here first, man. live. Wow. I, I, I purposely have not been looking at the games. You just ruined it for me. Oh, I'm my sorry, God. man. That, that, that's a shocker. That is a shocker. Hey, they're staying there for me. Okay. Um, okay. I'll, I'll go with that. Um, also, I would just like to point out another team that has no chance. And I'll just put that right there. So, oh, come on. Be nice, man. Be oh, nice. Sorry, 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 sorry. Be nice. Sorry. Put them at the um, last spot. Or else I'm going to hear about it. That's why. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah. this, is, this is also the order at the bottom of chance that they have. Um, now, if you put the Ottawa Senators there, then, yeah, that's, that's fine. No, the Ottawa <laughs> Senators are like... Oh, God. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that, man. I'm, I really am. I'm cool with that. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that, guys. Let us know who your two cup-worthy teams are. To let us know one from the east, one from the west in the comments. Thank you for watching and uh, peace out.